Rob from Pathway Connectivity and I want to talk to you today about security domains in Passcape version 3. Now all of this security stuff is to ensure that you are not hacked or uh, snooped upon or some malicious bad actor they call them comes in and uh, defaults all of your Pathport configurations while you're not watching. So this is uh, uh, new cybersecurity laws that different states are implementing and we're uh, ready with Passcape version 3 and our ver version 5 firmware. So in my Passcape here, if I go into the firmware view, um, I can actually see that a lot of devices here are version 5 and some of the older ones are version uh, below 5, like version 3. So if I look at the properties box on any of these guys in version 3, Passcape is exactly the way it always has. You take some uh, uh, fields, you change them, they go into the transaction editor, you send them. I'm going to remove that here. But if you look at the version 5 stuff, you'll see that they have this new um, thing called security domains, and this has been unsecured. And all of the properties here, I can't get into. They're all read-only, um, and that's to protect you. So what we want you to do is add them to a security domain. So if you go back into the default view here, you can actually sort by your devices that are not able to join a security domain because they don't have the right firmware. And all of these devices here um, are presently unsecured. So what we want to do is we want to create a new security domain for our little venue here. So this is my house. So I'm going to go into the menu and I'm going to say, let's make a new domain and I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to give it a nice password that's secure. You should use something that you're comfortable with that you're going to remember. And it's asking for um, the user password and the admin password. Now the admin is just for adding devices to the domain and factory defaulting them or changing the passwords themselves. Otherwise, you can do everything with the user password. And you might want to have a different password for the administrator because it's something you're only gonna do once or twice. And then your user password is something that you're gonna remember and use every day. So when you've got to this point, you will then say, all right, let's uh, continue. And it's listing here all of the devices that are currently unsecured. So rather than check them all off, I'm just going to say everything that I can see on my network that has been discovered, let's add them to the security domain. And at this point, it gives you this recovery key. Now, this is in case somebody changes the password on you and you need to recover it or for some reason you lose it. So this is so very important. We want you to either highlight this uh, like this and copy it and paste it and put it to uh, an email that you're never going to forget. Or you could hit this print and uh, you will see that it makes a nice little thing that you should print out and put into a filing cabinet somewhere so you could retype this if by chance your password, your admin password is changed or forgotten. Now the password all the background stuff here, this is all 256-bit military-grade encryption stuff. You're not going to break this, and Pathway Connectivity cannot help you if you lose this. If you lose this password and you lose this recovery domain, you're going to have to go to each device and factory default it. And there's instructions on our website for every device we have how to factory default those. So uh, it's a good idea at this point to print that out so you can have the domain and at this point you will then press done and you will see all the math is going on in the background to make these big private public key exchange all this security stuff and it is going to add all of these devices to the security domain called 24 woolen mill lane so when it uh, comes in you'll see that it uh, it actually has all these devices now, and instead of saying unsecured, they actually have a little amber padlock. Before there was a red padlock saying unsecured, now it's an amber padlock. Now, uh, if I highlight any of these devices, I still just have read-only properties. I can't change anything. 
That's because we need to log in. So you can do that from here. Log in and you select the security domain. I only have one, typically you will. Type in my super secret password. And then you will see that all of the devices then come online and they get a green padlock. And then now all of the properties I can change to whatever I want. And uh, there we go. So let me just remove all of those for fun. Now, one of the things, uh, streaming ACN and ArtNet and Pathport and ShowNet and all the other properties that we support are actually unsecured protocols. So one of the things that you'll want to do is when you go to your Pathport, uh, you'll go into the network protocol support and you must say, I would like to allow unsecured protocols like ArtNet or uh, in this case, streaming ACN, we can turn off Pathport. And when we go to send these transactions, it's going to say here, you are enabling an open protocol that does not use encryption or authentication. This protocol could be eavesdropped or spoofed by malicious parties. You are strongly encouraged to secure access to your network, both physically and technologically. To continue, you must acknowledge that you have read the statement and that you accept these risks. Do you wish to continue? <clears throat> so you say yes. And now when you go and look at the properties, we can see that we are receiving your ACN. And at that point, you can go into the patch and change anything you want. Otherwise, you're going to see grayed out areas in the patch table, so you cannot change things. Now, Sometimes you're not going to want to use Passcape to do things. So let's have a look at our Quattro here. And let's say we're just going to run it uh, right from the front panel. So first off, I'm going to remove it from this security domain. So I'm going to go into administration and I'm going to go in and type in my super secret password. And I'm going to factory default um, the Quattro. So Quattro, there we go. Check off just that one factory default and this is the same as it used to be but now you have to do it through this administration panel so now the quattro comes back as unsecured it's got a red padlock and what we can do is we can go on to the front panel of this device we can go into utilities and say we're just going to run this from the front panel we're not doing any path porting here so uh, I'm going to generate local security and I can confirm that. And then now going back, I can go into protocol support and I can allow insecure protocols right from here. And then I can go to each port as I normally would. And I can go and say, all right, uh, let's change this to universe, you know, or whatever it is. And when you come into Passcape, you will see now it says locally secured. And even if you're logged in to 24 millimil lane, you will not have read write privileges on the locally secured stuff because that is only going to be controlled from the front panel. And if you ever want Passcape control of this device again, you're going to have to physically go to the device, go to utilities, and you go factory default, you confirm that, it will go into a reboot, the device will go offline, and when it comes back online, it will be unsecured, at which point you can go into administration and add it back into your security domain. Right now it's the only device there, add the device, and there you go, and now you will have full control of that device with all of its properties. Again, you'll have to check off which protocols you want to receive and send them. There's a technical bulletin available on the Pathway Connectivity website that describes security, why it's important, and there's also a very useful reference that describes how you can factory default all of our devices and then cleanly bring them into a security domain.